If you've ever felt isolated or wondered why you seem to stand out from others, this video is for you. Today we're going to dive into a fascinating and profound topic that many of you may resonate with, why God wants you to be alone. So grab a comfortable seat and let's explore it together. Point 1. Divine Isolation for Spiritual Growth One of the key reasons God may want you to be alone is for your spiritual growth. According to Dolores Cannon, this period of isolation is not a coincidence, but a deliberate divine arrangement. When you are alone, you are free from the constant noise and distractions of daily life, which can cloud your judgment and hinder your spiritual development. This solitude allows you to focus on your inner self, engage in deep introspection, and connect more profoundly with your spiritual essence. It's a time to listen to your inner voice and God's guidance without any interference. Think of it as a spiritual retreat designed specifically for you to grow and evolve. Being alone offers a rare opportunity to step back from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. This respite from external influences can help you to gain clarity and perspective that is often difficult to achieve amid the chaos of daily routines. Without the pressures of social obligations, work demands, and the constant influx of information from digital media, your mind and spirit can finally find peace and stillness. In this tranquil state, you can reflect on your life, your beliefs, and your actions more deeply. This reflection is crucial for identifying areas in need of growth and for understanding your true purpose. Dolores Cannon's teachings suggest that this period of divine isolation is an essential phase in your spiritual journey. It is during these moments of solitude that you can strengthen your relationship with the divine. With fewer distractions, you can spend more time in prayer, meditation, and contemplation, fostering a deeper connection with God. This time alone allows you to hear God's voice more clearly, discern His guidance, and align your actions with His will. Moreover, this isolation serves as a crucible for personal transformation. When you are removed from the noise and distractions of the world, you are better able to confront and overcome your inner fears and doubts. This process of self-examination and spiritual refinement helps you to shed old patterns and behaviors that no longer serve you. It prepares you to embrace new ways of thinking and being that are more aligned with your higher purpose. In essence, divine isolation is a period of intense spiritual growth and renewal. It is a sacred time designed by God to help you evolve into the person you are meant to be. Embrace this solitude as a gift and use it to deepen your understanding of yourself and your connection with the divine. Through this process, you will emerge stronger, wiser, and more attuned to your spiritual path. Point two, awakening and self-discovery isolation can often lead to a profound spiritual awakening and self-discovery. When you are alone, you have the opportunity to confront your deepest fears, doubts, and desires. Dolores Cannon emphasized that this solitary journey helps peel away the layers of ego and pretense, revealing your true essence. It's a time to discover who you really are, beyond societal roles and expectations. In this sacred solitude, you become more aware of your interconnectedness with all beings and the universe. You start to perceive life through the lens of love, compassion, and divine wisdom gaining a deeper understanding of your purpose and place in the world. This journey of self-discovery begins by facing the parts of yourself that you might have ignored or suppressed. In the quiet moments of solitude, there is no escaping your inner thoughts and feelings. This can be challenging, as you might encounter uncomfortable truths about yourself. However, it is through this process of confronting and accepting these truths that true growth and healing can occur. You begin to understand the root causes of your fears and doubts, and this understanding paves the way for overcoming them. Dolores Cannon's insights suggest that isolation strips away the superficial layers of your identity, those parts molded by societal expectations and external influences. In solitude, you are no longer defined by your job, your social status, or the roles you play in your relationships. Instead, 
you are free to explore your inner world, your true desires, and your authentic self. This period allows you to reconnect with the core of who you are, fostering a sense of self-awareness that is both deep and liberating. As you delve deeper into self-discovery, you start to see the interconnectedness of all life. You realize that your existence is not isolated, but intricately linked with the broader universe. This awareness brings about a sense of unity and compassion for all beings. You begin to view your actions and choices through a broader, more inclusive lens, understanding that what you do impacts not just yourself, but the entire web of life. Through this profound connection, you gain insights into your life's purpose. You begin to see how your unique experiences, skills, and passions are all part of a larger divine plan. This clarity helps you align your actions with your true purpose, guiding you towards a life that is more fulfilling and in harmony with your highest self. You start to live from a place of love and compassion, contributing positively to the world around you. In conclusion, isolation is not merely a period of loneliness, but a powerful opportunity for spiritual awakening and self-discovery. Embrace this time to explore the depths of your being, to confront and heal your inner fears, and to reconnect with your true self. By doing so, you will awaken to a new understanding of your purpose and your place in the universe, living a life enriched with love, compassion, and divine wisdom. Point 3. Eliminating Distractions for Clarity Another significant reason for your isolation is to eliminate distractions that prevent you from achieving clarity and understanding your divine purpose. Our modern lives are filled with endless distractions, social media, work pressures, and constant noise. These can obscure your vision and impede your spiritual progress. According to Dolores Cannon, God places chosen ones in isolation to remove these external influences, allowing you to focus more intently on your spiritual journey. This undistracted time is precious. It helps you to listen more closely to God's voice, discern His will for you, and gain a clearer perspective on your life's path. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it can be incredibly challenging to find moments of true peace and quiet. We're constantly bombarded with notifications, emails, and the demands of our social and professional lives. This perpetual state of busyness can cloud our minds and make it difficult to tune into our inner selves. Isolation provides a sanctuary from this chaos, offering a rare opportunity to step back and reevaluate our lives without the constant barrage of external stimuli. Dolores Cannon emphasized that this period of solitude is a divine intervention designed to help you reconnect with your spiritual core. When distractions are removed, you are more able to hear the subtle whispers of your intuition and the divine guidance that is always present but often drowned out by the noise of daily life. This clarity allows you to understand what truly matters to you, aligning your actions with your higher purpose and values. During this time, you can cultivate practices that enhance your spiritual clarity. Meditation, prayer, and journaling are powerful tools that can help you quiet your mind and connect with your inner wisdom. These practices create a space for deep reflection, where you can ask meaningful questions about your life and receive insights that guide you on your path. Furthermore, eliminating distractions helps you break free from the habit of seeking external validation. In solitude, there are no likes, comments, or external approvals to influence your sense of self-worth. Instead, you learn to value your own opinions and trust your inner guidance. This shift is crucial for building a strong, independent sense of self that is not swayed by external pressures. Isolation also allows you to identify and let go of habits and behaviors that no longer serve your highest good. Without the constant influence of societal expectations and peer pressure, you can examine your life with a clear lens and make conscious choices that support your spiritual growth. This process of shedding old patterns and embracing new, more aligned ways of being is a vital step in your journey toward enlightenment. In conclusion, the elimination of distractions during periods of isolation is a profound gift. It provides the clarity needed 
to discern your true purpose and align your life with divine will. Embrace this time as an opportunity to deepen your spiritual practices. Trust your inner guidance and make conscious choices that support your highest good. Through this process, you will emerge with a clearer vision of your life's path and a stronger connection to your divine essence. Point 4. Humility and ego dismantling isolation also serves as a means to dismantle your ego and foster humility. In our everyday interactions, we often receive feedback and validation that can inflate our ego. Compliments, social status, and recognition can lead to pride and a distorted self-image. When God isolates you, it removes these sources of external validation, compelling you to look inward and confront your true self. This process is crucial for breaking down the ego, as it reveals areas where pride and self-importance have taken root. In this solitude, you learn to rely on God's validation rather than human approval, fostering a deeper sense of humility and reinforcing the understanding that your true worth comes from your relationship with God. In our daily lives, we are constantly surrounded by opportunities to receive external affirmation. Whether it's praise from colleagues, likes on social media, or recognition in our communities, these validations can create a skewed sense of self-importance. The ego thrives on these affirmations, often leading us to believe that our worth is tied to our achievements and the approval of others. This external focus can divert us from our spiritual path, causing us to prioritize superficial success over inner growth. Dolores Cannon emphasizes that isolation strips away these external affirmations, creating an environment where the ego cannot flourish. Without the constant feedback loop from others, you are faced with the task of self-reflection. This solitude forces you to confront your inner thoughts and feelings, revealing the parts of yourself that rely on external validation for a sense of worth. This confrontation is not always easy, as it can bring up feelings of insecurity and inadequacy. However, it is through this honest self-assessment that true humility is born. In this process of ego dismantling, you begin to see the ways in which pride and self-importance have influenced your actions and decisions. You become aware of how much of your identity has been constructed around external validation. This awareness allows you to start letting go of these false constructs and to embrace a more authentic self. As you peel away the layers of ego, you uncover your true essence, which is grounded in your relationship with God rather than in the fleeting approval of others. Relying on God's validation rather than human approval is a profound shift. In isolation, you learn to seek and find comfort in God's presence. This dependency on divine guidance nurtures a deep sense of humility as you recognize that your true value comes from being a beloved child of God, not from your achievements or status. This humility is not about thinking less of yourself, but rather understanding that your worth is inherent and divine. Moreover, this period of isolation helps you to cultivate a more authentic and grounded sense of self. Without the influence of external expectations, you can explore who you truly are and what you genuinely value. This self-awareness fosters a deeper connection with your spiritual path and helps you align your actions with your higher purpose. You become more attuned to the divine wisdom within you, leading a life that reflects your true values and spiritual insights. In conclusion, isolation is a powerful tool for dismantling the ego and fostering humility. By removing the sources of external validation, it compels you to look inward, confront your true self, and rely on God's guidance. This process helps you to let go of pride and self-importance, embracing a more authentic and humble self. Through this journey, you come to understand that your true worth is rooted in your relationship with God, leading to a deeper, more fulfilling spiritual life. Point 5. Preparing for a Breakthrough Finally, isolation is often a period of preparation for a significant breakthrough. While it might feel like a time of stagnation or setback, Dolores Cannon believed 
that it is actually a time of profound preparation. During this period, God is actively working to mold and shape you, preparing you for new opportunities and significant advancements in your life. This focused growth ensures that you are ready to handle the responsibilities and challenges that come with your breakthrough. Isolation allows for healing and renewal, giving you the chance to address past wounds and traumas, emerge stronger and more resilient. By working through these issues in solitude, you become better equipped to embrace new opportunities without being held back by past baggage. In the quiet and solitude, you have the time and space to reflect deeply on your life experiences, both the joyful and the painful. This reflection is crucial for understanding the lessons embedded in your past. Often, when we are caught up in the hustle and bustle of daily life, we don't take the time to process our experiences fully. Isolation provides a unique opportunity to do this important work, allowing you to heal from past traumas and release any emotional baggage that may be weighing you down. Dolores Cannon emphasized that this period of healing is not just about dealing with past wounds, but also about building the strength and resilience needed for future challenges. By confronting and processing your past, you free yourself from its grip, making room for new growth and possibilities. This healing process is essential for ensuring that when new opportunities arise, you can approach them with a clear mind and an open heart, unencumbered by old fears and doubts. During this time of isolation, God is also working to develop and enhance your skills and abilities. You might find yourself drawn to new interests or compelled to deepen your knowledge in certain areas. This is all part of the preparation process. The skills and insights you gain during this period will be invaluable when you step into the next phase of your journey. Whether it's a new career opportunity, a personal project, or a significant life change, you will be better prepared to handle it because of the focused growth and development that took place during your time of solitude. Isolation also fosters a deeper connection with your inner wisdom and intuition. As you spend more time in quiet reflection and introspection, you become more attuned to your inner voice and divine guidance. This heightened awareness will serve you well when making decisions and navigating the challenges that come with your breakthrough. You will have a stronger sense of clarity and confidence, knowing that you are aligned with your true purpose and guided by a higher power. Moreover, this period of preparation in isolation helps you to build a solid foundation of trust and faith. As you learn to rely more on God's guidance and less on external validation, your faith becomes stronger and more resilient. This trust in the divine plan is crucial when facing new opportunities and challenges. You will be more equipped to take bold steps and embrace change, knowing that you are supported by a divine force that has been carefully preparing you for this moment. In conclusion, isolation is a powerful period of preparation for a significant breakthrough. It provides the time and space for deep healing, reflection, and growth, ensuring that you are ready to embrace new opportunities with strength and resilience. By working through past traumas and developing your skills, you become better equipped to handle the responsibilities and challenges that come with your breakthrough. Embrace this time of solitude as a divine gift, a period of profound preparation that will ultimately lead to greater fulfillment and success in your spiritual and personal journey. So, if you find yourself in a period of isolation, Remember that it's not a punishment, but a divine arrangement for your growth, awakening, clarity, humility, and preparation. Embrace this time as an opportunity to connect deeply with your true self and with God. Trust that this solitude is a sacred space where you can listen to the whispers of the divine and prepare for the amazing breakthroughs that lie ahead. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this content, please like comment, and subscribe for more insightful videos. Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care and stay blessed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. 
Feel free to share this video with anyone who might benefit from these insights. Your support is truly appreciated. See you in the next video. Remember, you are never truly alone. This period of isolation is a powerful phase of your spiritual journey. Embrace it, grow from it, and let your light shine even brighter. Thank you for watching.